Hey Pinky Crew, I'm Pinky Prim, and today we are going to play a game called Port of Call. I have absolutely no idea what this is about, so it's just like September 1999. We're both going to go into it blind and we're going to see what it's about. Let's go. Controls, normal and normal. Oh, left click to interact, so we can interact with stuff on this one. All right, we're literally on a port. There's someone over there. Can I run? Nope, I can't run. I wasn't in the fucking... That wasn't in the controls. <laughs> Why, hello there. Bitch disappeared. A broken lantern. The lamp looks broken. No point in messing with it. Well, that's no fun, is it? Hello. Oh, what? You're late. Late? Late for what? Where am I? Oh, where the hell did you come from and who are you? Um, late for what? I think you know perfectly well why you're here. On board with you. I'll see you on the bridge. Come on. Come on now. Get. Oh, where the fuck did this boat come from? <laughs> no. He disappeared, bitch. What? This is a bit of a fun game already. I like it. All aboard. <laughs> oh, Captain. What's going on over here then? Can I, can I take your little light? Nope. It flickers, but it doesn't shine. Globe. Maybe we're out in the middle of the Atlantic. Rotary phone. It's a shame this thing isn't antique. All right, Captain. Where are we going? Oi. All right. To business. I assume you know how to do your job. Get to it then. I'm the captain on this here hunk of scrap, and I'll have no more dilly-dallying. What are you talking about? Exactly. What are you talking about? Great, they sent me another idiot. I have at the time to hold your hand while you learn to pick your nose. <laughs> I have a ship to run. I guess I can start you off on a simple task, though. If that's not too hard for your wee little brain. There's a little girl on the first cabin on the left. Go get a ticket. Okay. Little brat won't let me come within a foot of her without squealing like a babe. Come back to me when you're done. And if you're feeling a bit lost, feel free to come back and chat. I'll take care of you. <laughs> All right. Why have I got ghosts over here? What the fuck, man? That's quite cool. Whoa. Oh, wait. Why, why are you not floating anymore? If I pick it up, it don't float. I'm breaking it. Hey, girl, what's up? I know I like you, dear face, but what's the matter? Don't eat me? The fuck? Oh, who are you? Nobody, I guess. Hmm. Well, you don't look like the boogeyman. Boogeyman? The tall, scary man, and he has a hood, and he's trying to eat me. Are you his scary friend? <laughs> Boom! That's not funny, but you don't seem scary like him. You seem familiar. Hmm, I don't really recognize your face. What is your name? Or, oh, I can't say I recognize you, but I need to get your ticket. Let's be friendly. What's your name? My name is Lily. I haven't heard it in a while. What about yours? I will tell you if I remember. <laughs> That's not fair. I gave you my name. Where is Ted's? Who is Ted's? Ted's is the bestest bear in the world. He's my best friend. The last time I saw him, we were playing together and hiding from Marcus. Could you find Ted's? Oh, I just picked up a fucking crayon. I needed that for later then or something. God damn. Do I need another crayon? I do. I need crayons. I don't need that. But I need to keep collecting crayons. There's another crayon. Hey, chick, do you have any more crayons? I see you got a floating library, but I need crayons. Okay, well, I need to go find... Ted. This reminds me of in real life. I hear this all the time. Whispers, whispers, whispers. Somebody talks to me. <laughs> There's another bunch of books. Just, oh, oh, oh. I just walked into the pile. That was nice. Ah, oh, found Ted's. Nice. There's a broken. No, it's not broken. It's just not over. There's a light. It's on the floor. All right. Um. I'll go back and give Ted's in a sec. I just want to see what's going on. It looks like a crane. 
like paper crane a little bit anyway I uh, don't need any of this oh a bouquet of flowers how pleasant yeah it's not bad actually anyway um I feel like this is some sort of lift or elevator I'm gonna go back to the girl yo chick I found your shit <laughs> oh that's creepy <laughs> Oh, Ted's! I missed you so much! Hmm. The last thing I remember is me, Marcus, and Ted's were playing together while Mum and Dad were gone. Why are you here now? I don't know. My memory gets so fuzzy after... After what? The three of us were playing hide and seek. Marcus, Ted's, and me. Marcus was the seeker. Ted's had a great idea for a hiding spot, so I listened to him. Where did you hide? We went to go hide with the rest of Ted's friends in the toy chest. I climbed in, but the lid fell down, and it got dark. I got scared. The wooden lid was too heavy, I couldn't lift it off. Where was Marcus? I don't know. I called for him, I think he was upstairs. It was so dark and I couldn't breathe. And then it hurt. Why didn't Marcus find me? Oh, I clicked something, I don't know what I clicked. I don't know, everything went dark, now I'm here. Do you think Marcus wanted to find me? I think Marcus wanted to find you, he seems like a good kid, just like you. I think you're right, I remember hearing him call for me. I hope I see his dog face again someday. She's ascended! <laughs> okay, so she died in this chest. Nice. If I could tell this geezer about it, he's probably going to say I've got one ticket. <laughs> oh, it's so weird walking through ghosts. Hello! Mm -hmm. You got your first ticket? I guess you're not completely inept. Girl Lily made it sound like she was dead. Who was that little girl? What's she doing here? Let's go with the first one. And what of it? Ah, oh, don't tell me you feel sorry for her. See here, loads of kids off it every day. And you don't give a rat's ass about any of them. Why would she be any different? What happens to her now? Hell if I know, hell if I care. I just deliver the stiffs. Charming! Anything that happens afterwards is not my problem. Anyway, I got another job for you now, laddie. Use the lift at the end of the hallway and go talk to the drunkard in the bar. I can't understand a thing the fat man says. Charming. And I don't have time for any more of your stupid questions. Okay. Fair. Alright, let's head off down. I told you this was some sort of lift or elevator or something like that. And we're going up. We're up to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Aha. Uh, hello. Hi, how are ya? You can't let a man drink without some music. The crowd next to me won't stop chattering. Why don't we get a song playing? Aha, uh -huh. I got you. I got you, sir, I got you. Jukebox, no list of songs. I'll have to try my luck. Uh, let's see. Bang. That'll do. Musica. I'm playing music. Now this oh. is vinyl. Oh, there you are. What kind of service is this? I've been waiting for ages, you know. Do I know you, old man? I'm just here to collect your ticket. Hmm. You may not know me, but you remind me of someone I once knew. Why don't you get me a drink? And maybe we can have a little chat. I'm not the bartender, Gramps. Just give me a ticket. <laughs> nah, I'll play along I guess, what do you want? Cheers! Let's see how I'm about to start with something simple. Yes, I think a gin and tonic would do nicely. Um, I actually have to get you a gin and tonic. Um, nope, 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 nope. Are there, are there more that I have to grab? Oh! <laughs> Uh, there isn't a gin and tonic, mate. I, I don't know what to grab. There's not really another selection about, so I don't really know what to do. Um, hard of hearing. A gin and tonic, please. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> right. Okay. So I could just pick up any of the bottles. 
fair, fair. And uh, let's just try and give it to him. Ugh. What? Not what you asked for? You'll be fine. I mixed the wrong drink, apparently. <laughs> Come on now, son. It's not that hard. Try again. Gin. Um, I'm going to say this one. Tonic. Oh, yes. Mix gin with tonic. <sighs> That's the stuff. Now then, why don't you tell me about yourself? This is going to sound stupid, but I don't even remember my name. Oh. Oh, I wouldn't worry much about that. Things like that have a tendency of floating back around. <laughs> Get it floating because we're on a boat and ah never mind. Anyway, I think it's time for another drink. Why don't we get a little fancier? How about some vodka with some orange juice? Vodka, orange juice. Aha! Uh -huh. I went with the colours. It worked. I'm very happy with that choice. <laughs> ah, that's what I'm talking about. I tip you, well if I had any money that is. Now what were we talking about? The ferryman told me everyone on the ship was dead. Do you think I'm dead? <laughs> Well, you don't look quite dead to me, son. But if that's so, you're in pretty good company. Most everyone on the ship's been dead for some time now. Well, except for the grouch in the raincoat. No one's quite sure about him. Do you remember how you died? Ah, that's a story I've not told in a long time. And not one with a particularly happy ending either. Are you sure you want to hear it? Shh, do I want to? Sure. I uh, had a daughter once a long time ago. Suffice to say, she died in an accident when she was young. And my wife followed her soon after, died of a broken heart, I guess. It was only me and my son then, and well, I took to drinking. It eventually did me in. Anyway, you know what they say. You can only drink yourself to death once. Cheers. You seem to know how you got here. Do you know how I could tell if I'm dead? Now that's a question only you can answer. It's different for everyone. Give it some time though, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Now then, how about another drink? I think I'm feeling some old-fashioned rum and cola this time. Okay, so... This one was rum and this is cola. Nice. Okay. Hmm, that's some strong drink. Thanks, <laughs> Marcus. I think I'm going to take a nap now. So, I'm Marcus. And these are all of the people that probably knew me throughout my lifetime or something like that. I don't know. Wait, what did you call me? No, hold on. Don't fall asleep. I have questions. <laughs> Oh, I got a ticket though. But but where'd you go? Ah, asshole! <laughs> right, let's go back down. Let's go back over to the ferryman. Hey, she's here. Hey, hey, you don't have to wait in line. Hey, can can I talk to you? Bitch. <laughs> hey, Captain. Uh -huh. I see you got the old Drunk Fool's ticket. Good job, I suppose. Right, well, I don't have time to humour every fancy right now. The choppy waters require my full... Wait a minute. The hell is that woman doing out on the boat? Oi. Oi, you there. Get off my boat. You're blocking the view. <laughs> Bloody girl's not listening. Get out there and get her to move. She's blocking the view, eh? Are you fucking blind? <laughs> Look at the view! Oh, she's in the way, clearly. Fucking numbskull. <laughs> Hello, lady. Hello. You're the first person I've seen on the ship who doesn't look dead. But your face is blurry. Why are you here? I can ask the same question. I'm here to collect your ticket. <laughs> Isn't everyone on the ship supposed to be dead? They are dead. We're all dead. At least I thought we were all until I saw you. I wonder. Have you talked to the ferryman? Yeah, that's kind of why I'm here. Send me for your ticket. How is he not dead? I see. Well, he's the captain of the ship, not a passenger. He takes travellers to their destination, wherever that is. He doesn't reach it until he's received all of the tickets from the passengers. I'm waiting for someone to board the ship, so I've been holding on to my ticket. Someone? I don't see anyone else getting on a moving ship. Yes. I can't remember exactly who he is or how he would get here, but I will wait for him. I just can't remember what he looks like. Have you tried walking around and talking to people here? I've met some interesting individuals. I can agree. I've spoken with everyone I know on the ship. They are innocent, delusional, and pessimistic. I believe one is a shadow of the person I'm looking for. Are you talking about the black silhouettes on the ship? I mean the shadow in a more figurative way. Those people that you cannot see are people you do not know. The person is someone I know. 
but he is not his whole self. Not whole? I ever seen any dismembered passengers. <laughs> yes, he is missing a large part of himself. His shadow feels like an embodiment of negativity. His mask haunts me. Did this person help you remember who you were looking for? I didn't speak to him for long. He didn't have anything helpful to say, mostly hurtful. I could not see his face as he was wearing a mask like the others. He does not sound very nice. I don't think I've met the guy. He is not very nice. I don't think you would have. He's below the main deck in the boiler room. How did you get down there? The lift only goes up. The elevator is a little strange. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Could you help me get down there? If only I could. I can hardly move anymore. This mask weighs on me, so... It doesn't seem heavy. What's up with the masks anyway? The mask seems to be our new identity as we travel on the ship. I don't feel like my body has any weight, but the mask burdens me. It feels heavy in a way I've never felt. I don't know how much longer I can stay. Think about this person you are waiting for. Who is he? He was the one who waited with me in the hospital. I don't know how long I've been there, but it seems like I'm more familiar with the ship than any place else. I see. Can you remember anything else about him? When I think about him now, I see the mask of the man in a boiler room. I don't know why, but it torments me. Maybe the ferryman has answered. No, he cannot help me. Find the boilerman. I'm not going to last much longer. Marcus. I am Marcus! She disappeared! Fuck her, Rue, where'd she go? <laughs> Alright, I need to find a way down the steparoonies. Well, down into the boiler room, not steps. <laughs> All right, well, there's a button now. Let's, uh, ding. We're going on a trip down into the boiler room so I can talk to a fucker room. <laughs> oh. It's very, uh, coaly down here. Hello, boilerman. That kind of sound like a, a shiver from my body for a moment. <laughs> At the end of his time, the man from the boy finally emerges. But is he a coward still, or will he face his wraths? Will he let the sands trickle out, or has the courage to turn back the hands of fate? What are you talking about? <laughs> Do you not recognize the reflection gleaming in the dark, an embodiment of all your sins, all your pain? All your guilt stares back at you from the abyss. The ferryman sent me to get your ticket. <laughs> and like a pawn you move where he commands without a thought to the reason or overall plan. Do you wonder at all what the reason might be that I saw you woke up on a, on a dock out at sea? I've been asking. I've asked everyone in this godforsaken boat and no one can give me a damn answer. Perhaps a small mercy they granted unto you, but no such compassion would I bestow upon a craven such as you. The answer you sought I give to you now, a shattered soul taken to an edge, slickened wrist, bought about an end. But is this the end of a story or the start of another? Most likely the former, as I see no hope for the latter. Shattered soul, slickened wrist, what are you implying? With all the pieces before you, one might think you were a bit slow. It was your hand that stew you, yet not that alone. And by your hand, the others also found themselves here. I didn't murder them. I'd never murder anyone. Nothing so crude, but in the end, just the same. Inaction can be just as strong as an action. Knives are not needed to cause pain. The sister dead of neglect at age six. The father drowned in a cup with only his son to blame, and finally the woman waiting for the man who never came. Lily said she died stuck in a toy chest. I had nothing to do with that. Recall the whole story, Marcus, before you say that again. You were in charge of her, something you resent. Had Big Brother watched her, as he promised he would, she would not have been dead in a coffin taken too soon. That's not true. I always took care of her. But I looked for her. Mistakes were still made and consequences must be had. A wrong and a right do not always absolve. 
and so you must live or die with the results you have wrought. It wasn't my fault, I did what I could. You still have questions and I have answers. The father drowned in a cup with only his son to blame, the woman waiting for the man who never came. My father, that drunk man was my dad? Of course, who else could he be? But was he a loving father or uncontrollable? <laughs> I remember him now, but I know my dad loved me. I wonder what kind of love compels a man to the bottle, where he seeks solace and spirits instead of his last child. My dad had a problem, but I know the end he cared for me. One more quarrel I have with you before a resolution is reached. The woman waiting for the man who never came. I'm the one the woman was waiting for? Yes, the woman whom you once professed to love now waits in the grave. A wash in the masquerade of the beyond. You paid dearly to be able to see her again, ignorant of the results your actions would spawn. Alice called you a shadow of the person she was looking for. What did she mean? Though it stares you in the face, still you do not see. Flip a coin in the air and watch it as it spins. One side shows you, the other side me. I am everything you hate or you regret. Woven into one person, your greatest lameness. I, I clicked something random again! <laughs> I need to move the cursor away because you click once and it clicks an option behind the dialogue. Riot! <laughs> Alas, it seems that the need for me is done. Though do not believe that you have won. One more thing remains for you before you reach the end. Go find the woman, speak to her, and leave nothing unsaid. Another one bite the dust. <laughs> See, I just picked up two tickets, but the girl up in the bedroom, I don't think she dropped one. I never picked one up. So I'm going to have to go back up and look in her bedroom before I continue. Did she drop one? No, she just vanished. She didn't drop one. Unless there's one over there. I don't know. Oh. There's... Nothing here now? Oh no. She left a ticket. Oh, f oh fuck. Okay, um, hold up. Hold up. I picked up Alice's ticket. Well, um, we've now arrived at a lighthouse. So, that's different. Okay. Um, hello. It's you. I can see you now. Do you know who I am? Yes, Marcus. It's always been you. You found me. How did you come back? Everything went dark and then I heard a voice. It was you. You brought me back. But now, you need to make a choice, Marcus. We're at a crossroads. Oh, man. What choices do I have? You're special, Marcus. I hope you know that. I do. You're both a part of this world and a world we both came from. But it can't be that way once you walk through one of the doors. I won't hold anything against you. I love you, and I know I'll see you again. If you take the door closest to me, you will travel to a life beyond with everyone that you've met on the ship. But what's this one? Well, the cat's out of the bag now, laddie. There's no happy ending here. No sailing off into the sunset. You have a choice to make, and I don't envy you one bit. Know that if you choose this door and go back to the world of the living, there might not be any coming back here. I can't idle by and wait for you forever. Next time you come back, it might be a different ship. Or maybe it won't be a ship at all. I don't know. The afterlife is funny like that. Anyway, you have a choice, and I can't sit here forever till you choose. Go on. Clearly I'm here for a reason, and Alice is here for a reason, my dad is there for a reason, and my sister, I believe, is there for a reason. It's my time. I'm gonna go. I chose to go with the waiting woman. Probably the best choice. Um... 
Am I meant to do something? Hello? Is that it? Game over? I walked through the door, but it's broken. It's it not doing nothing. Not doing nothing! Hello? Well, it seems like um, I may have broken the game or the game just finishes like this. It's weird. I'm left with a bright white screen. Either way, I want to say thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this one. It was actually quite the narrative story. Made me a little bit sad at the end. Like, I thought I was going to cry for a moment, but no, I held it together. It was quite nice. And um, I chose to go with my loved ones at the very end. So I want to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.